Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing an Easter decorate with me video. As you can see, I have a bunch of my Easter goodies out. So I have a bunch of my new Ray Dunn goodies sitting over here. They look so pretty. I love all of the pink and white. I always love decorating for Easter. We just finished digging all of my Easter decor out of the attic. So I feel like I'm already tired just from doing that. So I set a bunch of it here in my kitchen just so you guys could see a bunch of this stuff is new so i'm going to share a quick easter decor haul just to show you some of the new easter goodies so i think i'm going to start out with that i'll start out with the goodies that i picked up from the target dollar spot first so first of all i found some of these adorable carrots you guys these were only one dollar so they had these in orange yellow and pink i just ended up grabbing three of the orange ones i couldn't believe that these carrots were only one dollar and then I picked up a couple of these little mini Easter egg wreaths right here. Again, I just thought that these were adorable and I think these were $5. I think these are very pretty. I love all of the colors. And then I grabbed one of these Easter boards right here. I think I showed you guys this in one of my shop with me videos. So it just has the bunny right there. I'll probably end up putting this up against my backsplash in the kitchen. And then I had picked up three of these. Again, I think I had showed you guys these. These were only $1. And then I have my little bunny salt and pepper shakers. I think these were three. These signs right here I had picked up either last year or the year before. Absolutely love these. And then one of my favorite things that I picked up this year, you guys, are these bunny measuring spoons. These were $3. I just thought that these were the cutest little things. Target always has some of the cutest holiday decor in their dollar spot. And then I had showed you guys this bunny basket right here. I think these were three. So that was everything from the Target dollar spot. And then I also grabbed this from Target. This was not from the dollar spot. I think this was 10, this mini bunny waffle maker right here. I just thought that this was so adorable and I love that it's pink. Really excited to make some mini bunny waffles. I of course had to pick up some new Easter dish towels because you guys know me and I love my dish towels. So I grabbed these two. I think this one is from TJ Maxx right here. And you guys know my obsession with the carrots. So this came with two of these. And then this one right here I found the other day at Home Goods. How cute is the little bunny on here? And this one came in a set of four. It has two bunnies and then it just has two plain white ones. Next, I picked up a couple of these Ray Dunn spatulas right here. I found this one at Marshall's, this Peep Peep one. So it comes with the Peep Peep spatula and then it also comes with a chicken cookie cutter. And then this one is from TJ Maxx. This one is the bunny treats. And then this one comes with the carrot, which of course is my favorite. And then speaking of carrots, I have this sign right here. I actually bought this one last year, but when I was in Home Goods the other day, I saw that they have this one out again this year. So if you guys are interested, I noticed that Home Goods has a lot of the same decor out this year that they had out last year. Next, I picked up some of these adorable bunny salt and pepper shakers right here. Bill actually spotted these. We were at Home Goods and we were getting ready to get in line and they were up by the checkout and he showed these to me because I have some bunnies that match these. I'll show you guys in just a second. And when he showed me these, I got really excited. And I think they only had two of these. They had two packs and another lady saw us looking and she grabbed one too. And we were both so excited that we found these little bunny salt and pepper shakers. We were just, I don't know, it was funny. We were just in the line talking about it and we were just very excited. And then I found this bunny mug right here. This is from TJ Maxx, love this one. And then this coquette, I think that's how you say it, coquette, is from Joann's. This is from Home Goods, this bunny canister. And then you guys, how adorable is this bunny cupcake kit right here? I found this at TJ Maxx. I love all of the bunny ears in here. And then I picked up some of these really pretty sprinkles right here. These are from Walmart. I found some of these bunny bags right here. These are from Five Below. If you guys haven't checked out my latest shopping video, you should definitely watch it because Five Below had some of the cutest Easter decor I have ever seen. They had a ton of different Easter baskets. So these bags, you get five of them and they were only $2.25. I just thought these would be perfect for some little Easter gifts. And then I found this sign right here at Walmart. I think this was only $1.98 or something. It was really inexpensive. It says Happy Easter. This reminded me of Ray Dunn. I picked these gorgeous eggs in this nest up last year from Meyer, but I think they have this again this year. I bought this last year 
for 75% off. I love when you can find decor on clearance after the holiday because you can get some really good deals. These are my favorites right here, you guys. These are just fake eggs, but I colored them. They're just some of those little cheapy white ones. There are still some white ones in there, but I colored them. And every time someone comes over, when I have these out around Easter, they think that they're real eggs. This truck back here is another find from this year. This is from Joann's. Absolutely love this. And then I stuck some of the carrots in the back. These carrots are from Target. I love these carrots right here. Again, me with my carrot obsession. All right, guys, next I am going to show you a bunch of my new Ray Dunn Easter goodies that Bill and I found this year. So I'm gonna start out with a couple of my favorites. This guy right here, Tweetheart. Absolutely love him. I just thought he was the cutest thing. And then this little bunny teapot right here. Bill found this for me. This I think was one of the first Easter decor pieces that he found for me and I was so excited. And then these mugs right here. I love how these have the blue on the bottom and then the handle is blue. And look how cute the lid is on these with the egg. And then this one is pink. And then again, love the wood lid on those. And then this is not Ray Dunn. Bill found this for me, I think at Marshall's, I wanna say. And then I found this guy back here at TJ Maxx. This is actually, whoa, I'm dropping stuff. This is actually like a cake stand pedestal, but I was hoping that this would come off from here so I could use it kind of like a cutting board up against my backsplash. And I did realize that this just screws off from here. So that will be perfect. Next is this pink Ray Dunn Happy Easter canister. I was very excited when I found this one. I had actually been on the hunt for it. I feel like they had so much Easter decor out this year, which was really nice because pretty much every time I would go to Home Goods or TJ Maxx, I could find something really good, which in the past years, if you guys know, a lot of the Ray Dunn holiday stuff was super hard to find, so that makes me very happy. And then this is another one that Bill picked up for me, this really cool canister right here. I think he found this one at Home Goods. Absolutely love this one. I love the little bunny on the top and the texture of the egg. I also wanted to show you guys this really cool soup mug that I found for my niece. I'm going to give her this for Easter. I think I've mentioned to you guys many times that she is obsessed with the Little Mermaid. So I found this at TJ Maxx. All right guys, next moving on to my mother load of Ray Dunn stuff over here. These are some of my favorite pieces, all of my pink and white. I was so excited to find all of these goodies. Bill actually ended up finding quite a few of these for me. I feel like he always has better luck than I do. So first of all, I'll start out with a couple of sets he found me. So this was a set right here. I just took these out of the box. The Hop To It Seller and the Honey Bunny. Absolutely love these. At first I wasn't super excited about the Honey Bunny mug because I already have a plain white Honey Bunny mug, but this one is the matte white, which I absolutely love. So I was very excited. I think I told you guys I never used to be into the matte mugs, but now I absolutely love them. This set right here, I was very excited that he found the Bunny Love Seller. And then this mug right here, this is Some Bunny to Love. I love the mugs that have the pink on the inside. So I was very excited when he found this set. And then this one right here, he found this one for me and I was very excited about this one. I feel like I'm probably going to say I'm excited a million times, so I apologize for that. But this one I had really wanted. So when he found this one for me, I was very happy. And then he had found me the matte jelly beans again. I told you guys I am just loving the mat. He found this one for me back here, the pink hop into spring. He literally walked into Home Goods one day and he just hit the jackpot for Ray Dunn. And then this one right here again, another one of my favorites, love some bunny, love the mat and with the pink lid. This is another one of my favorites, the spring bunny. I always love the ones with the bunnies. And then I have this one. I found this one the other day. I really didn't care for this set, but I wanted this one really bad. So I just ended up buying it. It says Silly Rabbit. And then a Jelly Beans mug. Egg hunting. I think I had showed you guys this. And I have my little bunny on here, which is from Bath and Body Works. I love these bunnies so much. They go perfectly with the Ray Dunn. This is another one of my favorites, you guys. Bill and I were out shopping and we just randomly stopped into Marshall's one day. And I was so excited when they had these. So it has a little bunny butt topper. Absolutely in love with this one. And then some more matte ones, some bunny to love. 
and bunny love. And then lastly, at the back, a couple of these dimpled bunnies right here, which these match the little baby salt and pepper shakers that I showed you guys. That is why I was so excited when Bill showed me those salt and pepper shakers because they match these bunnies. And I actually have a smaller one that I bought last year as well. So that is basically it for the raid done. Like I said, we found a ton of Easter goodies this year, which I am very happy about. And then I think I did find a couple other canisters. I found Easter candy and peeps. I already stuck those on my hutch, so I'll show you guys those later. Like I said, I feel like we just hit the mother load for Ray Dunn. Very happy they had a ton out this year. And then one other thing I almost forgot to show you guys is this Lazy Susan right here. I wanted to get a Lazy Susan to have in my coffee station. Right now I have my Keurig sitting over there, but I plan on putting it over here and doing an Easter coffee station. So I wanted to find a Lazy Susan. So my mom and I were in Home Goods and we were searching for one of these and we had no luck. We were getting ready to leave and then my mom spotted this one right here. It was sitting on a really low shelf and I think there was something on top of it. So I am so happy my mom spotted this because this one is just perfect. So this is what it looks like. And I don't know if it's doing it justice, but look how pretty the veining on this one is. I love this so much. I am so happy that you spotted this mom. Good job. Very happy. So I'll probably end up setting some little mugs and things like that over here. Like I said, I want to do an Easter coffee station. Next, I picked up some new Easter pillows. So this one right here is from Marshall's and this one is kind of a funny story. I showed you guys this one in my shop with me video. Well, I didn't end up buying that pillow and then I was editing that video and I was sitting there thinking, why didn't I buy that pillow? It was so cute. So I told Bill that I was really bummed that I didn't buy the pillow and he stopped that day on his way home from work and he found this pillow for me. So I thought that was just the sweetest thing ever. And this is the cutest pillow ever. So I'm very happy that he surprised me with this pillow. He is just the best. And then I ended up grabbing this one right here, the carrot patch with the bunny butt. This one is from Home Goods. And I think both of these were $16.99. And then you guys, I had to grab this guy for the dogs. I think I bought them one of these little dinosaurs last year. And he is of course holding a carrot dressed in the bunny suit. One of the cutest dog toys ever. His little bunny tail. And then I also grabbed some of these ears. I think I showed you guys these in my shop with me video from Joann's for the dogs. I'm going to see if I can get a photo of them wearing these ears. So wish me luck because a lot of times they don't want to leave these on. And then I also found some of these little onesies for the pups, but sadly Winnie's did not fit because these run very small. This is an extra large and it does fit Madison. Winnie's was just way too tight. We tried it on her and it just looks so uncomfortable. So I ended up having to take hers back. So I just have the one for Madison. She's right here looking. Look how cute. She heard her name. Hi, Winnie. Say so mine was a little bit too tight, but that's okay. So hopefully I will end up getting a cute picture. Maybe I'll get some footage of them wearing these ears if they will allow it. I'll probably end up bribing them with some treats. Maybe if I give them a treat. You guys get a treat and wear your bunny ears. Madison's right over there laying by the door. Will you guys wear the bunny ears if I give you a treat? Where's Madison? She says not happening. Madison didn't want to get up, not even for a treat. Are you being lazy today? Are you being lazy? Say hi. Where's Winnie? You want to say hi, Winnie? Hi, Winnie. All right, guys, I think now I am going to get to decorating because all of this stuff on my island kind of drives me crazy. I'm a little bit of a neat freak, so having all of this on here just drives me a little bit crazy. So next, we are going to start decorating. Also, I wanted to show you guys, we did hang up that Easter egg garland back there. That is from the Target dollar spot either last year or the year before. It's so funny when he's over here stalking that dinosaur toy. It's either from last year or the year before from the Target dollar spots. I did have Bill help me hang that up last night because it is so hard to hang up a garland with one person. So I had him help me hang that as well as one on the fireplace. But I'll show you guys that one in a little bit. All right, guys, now it is officially time to start decorating for Easter. All right, guys, I moved the Keurig over here and now I'm just trying to figure out what I want to put over here to decorate. So I think I do want to use this bunny board right here. I thought about putting this up against here and then it also hides the plug for the Keurig, but I don't know. I feel like it looks a little bit too small. So I need to figure something else out to go there. And then I'm just trying to figure out what to put on 
my Lazy Susan. I think I'm going to put my giant pink egg over here on the Lazy Susan, and then I might end up putting some K-cups in here. I think that will look pretty good. I don't know if I'm loving that. So basically what I do, you guys, is I just try a bunch of things until I figure out something that works. And sometimes it takes absolutely forever when I'm decorating to figure out something that works. You know when you guys are decorating and you put something in a certain place and you think that just doesn't look right? Sometimes it just takes forever to make it look perfect and I know that I'm not loving that. So I think I'm going to switch that for something else. I actually don't think that I'm loving the pink mugs. I feel like maybe it's just too much pink with the egg. So let's try a couple other maybe white mugs. I don't think that I'm loving these either. Like I said, sometimes this just takes forever. One eternity later. All right guys, I think that the mugs with the splash of color on the bottom and the handles look perfect, but now I'm not loving the sugar bunny. So that guy's gotta go. All right, I think that looks a little bit better, but I feel like it's also kind of plain. So let's stick one of these little bunnies right here from Bath and Body Works on the side of the creamer and see if it looks better. All right guys, I feel like we are getting closer, but I feel like this just looks kind of plain. So I'm thinking about sticking some of these little carrots right here inside of the cream. I feel like it'll just give it a little bit of color. So let's try that. Hopefully this is going to look good. And I did just put some paper towel in the bottom of this just to make them stand up a little bit because I feel like if the paper towel wasn't in here, they would just sink right to the bottom. Here is how it looks with the carrots, you guys. I am absolutely in love with this. I think it looks perfect. And now we have a little bit of color over here. Like I said, I love the little bunny. <laughs> he looks so cute on there. And then the carrots, I feel like that makes it look perfect. And then we have a little bit of splash of color on these mugs. I love these mugs so much. I am so happy that I grabbed these. I almost didn't get these mugs because I have so many mugs, but now I am so happy that I grabbed them. So that is how that is looking. And now I feel like this needs something else. I just feel like this bunny board looks way too small, which makes me sad. So I'm hoping that I can figure something out over here. All right, guys, I thought of an idea. I might try to put this bunny over here and see if it looks any better. This just unscrews off from this stand. So I think I am going to unscrew this and see how this guy looks over here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Like I said, it just comes off really easy. It just unscrews out of the back. So I'm going to try to put this back here and see if this looks any better. Hopefully this will kind of stand up. I don't know if it will fall. So I think this definitely looks better. I was just going to try the bunny on its own. And then I had both of them up against here because the bunny ears hide the plug for the Keurig. So I think that it looks really good, you guys. I am loving that. And now I just need to find a canister, I think, to go over here, and then I'll probably stick a mug on the Keurig. I'm not sure if I like the pink cop into spring canister better over here or the love some bunny canister, but I'm kind of leaning towards the love some bunny just because it's just a little splash of pink instead of too much pink. So I'm kind of leaning towards that, and now I just need to find a cute mug to put on the Keurig, and I think that this spot over here is done, so let me just find a cute mug to go on the Keurig. I think I'm going to go with a pink one since I don't have a ton of pink, so I think I am going to go with the bunny love one. All right, guys, I think my Easter coffee station is complete. I just need to fill my bunny canister up with some K-cups, and other than that, it is finished, and I love the way this turned out. All right, guys, I think my Easter coffee station is complete and I could not be happier with the way that this came out. I think everything came together perfectly. I absolutely love my new Lazy Susan over here. It just worked out perfect and the bunny board. So here is a little overview of how everything looks. I still have to put some K-cups in my giant bunny egg. I think that this is my favorite right here, this cream with the carrots in it and of course, the little bunny from Bath and Body Works. I am so happy that I ended up grabbing a few of these. And then these mugs right here. I love this Lazy Susan so much. I am so happy that my mom spotted this. 
And then I did take the bow off from the Love Some Bunny canister. I just thought it looked better without a bow. So that is how it looks. Inside of my pink egg, I am going to stick some of our favorite K-cups in there. So most of the time, we actually just use a reusable K-cup and we grind up our own coffee. But these are some of our favorite K-cups that we do like to use. So this one is the English Breakfast, the Coconut Mocha, and then the Swiss Miss. Lately, I have been loving having some hot cocoa. So I'm going to put some of these in my giant pink egg. All right guys, I have my egg filled up with the K-Cups. They fit in here very nicely. And as you can see, it holds quite a few of them. So I think that this area is complete. Now we are going to move on to this area over here next to the kitchen sink. I just stuck my truck over here. I don't think I'm going to keep that over here, but I just put it over here to see what it looked like, but I'm not loving it. So let's figure out how to decorate this spot next. I think that my gnome does look cute over here, but I just, I don't know if I want the gnome in the kitchen. I don't know if it feels right, but I do think that this guy is adorable. I bought this guy last year at TJ Maxx and just look at him. TJ Maxx and HomeGoods always have some of the cutest gnomes ever. So we're going to have to find a place for him. I just don't think that he works in the kitchen. All right, guys, I think we found a winner over here in the corner. I think I'm going to put my bunny treats over here. This is a Ray Dunn canister. And then on top, I have some of these ears right here that were on another canister that I bought a couple of years ago. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. I know that's corny. Bill and I just watched the movie 21 the other day with Kevin Spacey, and that is such a good movie. If you guys haven't ever watched that one, I definitely recommend it. All right, now we need to figure out what else to put over here. So we have one thing. I really wanna put this bunny board right here over in that spot, but I feel like I'm going to run into the same problem I did in the coffee station where the bunny board is just a little bit too small. So I might have to try to layer a couple things. I have some other boards with the handle, so I might try to layer them and see if that will look good. So let's just try this over here and see how it looks because I just, I know it's gonna look too small on its own and it's also just too white. Look at that, it's just too white because of my backsplash. So I think I'm going to try to pull out a couple of my other boards and see if we can make this work. I pulled out a couple of my boards right here. So I have this one with the marble, which I absolutely love, but this one is on the smaller side. And then if I can get this to move with one hand, I have this bigger one right here. So I think I'm going to try the bigger one. I have a feeling that this one's going to be a little too small. Let's just try the smaller one first, actually. I feel like I'm going to drop this thing and it's going to smash. I always drop stuff when I'm filming. One of the pups just yawned, it was really cute. Okay. So I feel like that still looks a little bit on the small side. So that is how it looks, I don't know. I feel like that still looks a little bit small. So let's try the bigger one and see if it looks any better. Here is the bigger one. All right, but now I don't know if that looks a little bit small. If the bunny board looks a little bit small up against that one, I don't know. It just doesn't look right, but the small one looked too small. All right, let's, okay, let's try something. Maybe all three of them can go here. It's probably not going to look good, but we can try it. See, that actually looks pretty good like that. And then let's layer this one up. Oh my gosh, you guys, that actually looks pretty good. I thought it was going to be a little bit too cluttered with three, but I'm kind of digging this. So I think that might work. Whoa. I almost just tripped. Winnie was laying right behind me. She loves to do that. When we're working or doing something, she will come lay right behind us and we have almost fell over so many times. I'm sorry, Winnie, are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, Madison gives Winnie kisses. These two love each other so much. They are just the best of friends. You wanna say hi, Madison? Here. I don't know why she keeps licking her lips. Aw, cute puppy yawn. Here's Winnie. Hi, Winnie. They're so cute. You guys are gonna put on your Easter bunny ears. We'll see. We will definitely have to bribe them with a treat to get them to wear the ears. These little babies, I pay them in treats. You guys like to get paid in treats, don't ya? Okay, back to where I was before I almost fell over. So this is how it's looking, but I don't know. I feel like it's looking a little bit plain. So we need to add some color for sure. 
I feel like maybe some carrots over here, brighten it up a little bit that worked on the cream, add a little bit of orange over here. So let's see what carrots we have. I have a bunch of carrots like these. So I think I am going to tie three of them together with some twine and maybe try to put them over there. I think it'll look cute just to kind of make up a little bunch. I was going to use these right here, but I have another plan what I'm going to do with these. So I think I am going to make a little bunch of these and we will try them. All right guys, ta-da! Here is my little bunch of carrots I made. Like I said, I just used a piece of twine and tied three of the carrots together and I have no idea why Madison was just jumping up a second ago trying to get the carrots. I don't know if they think that these are a toy. You wanna smell them? Do they smell good? They have some carrot toys, so they probably think that this is a toy. So I think I'm going to stick these over here. Maybe, I don't know, that doesn't look right. A few moments later. I think they look a little bit better standing up, but I still feel like this area looks a little bit plain. So I'm gonna see what else I have to put over here. All right, guys, I found this sign right here, the carrot patch sign, and I thought that this looked perfect in front of all of the boards. And then we have our carrots. So I think that this area is now complete. I absolutely love the way this came out. I probably said that about the last spot too, but I really love it. And I'm really surprised that the three boards look this good layered because I did not think that was going to look good. All right, so next, let's move down here. I have absolutely no idea what I wanna put down here. I think I just wanna keep this simple. And I just realized I don't have my happy spring crock out. I completely forgot I have a Ray Dunn happy spring crock. So I'm not sure if I'm going to bring that out or just leave the white, but I know I wanna keep this spot right here in the middle simple, and then maybe add a little bit of color down here. It smells so good in here right now. I am diffusing my Fight It essential oil. That is one of my favorites. I buy it at Bath and, or not Bath and Body Works, at Bed Bath and Beyond. I'm not sure if you can buy that one anywhere else. You might be able to get it online, but that is one of my favorites. So I think I am going to turn this off and move this out of here. I did find my Ray Dunn Happy Spring Crock. I almost forgot about this. So this was stored in the top of my pantry. So I think I might put this over here. I'm not sure if I want to do this because it has pink inside or if I wanna just stick with the white one since I'm going to be using some of these pink spatulas in there. So I think I'll try out both options and see what I like better. And then I have my Easter dish towels over here. I usually always hang one on my dishwasher. So I might go with the bunny for right now and then I'll probably end up swapping it out and going with the carrot ones later and then I have this over here that I think I'm just going to stand or sit next to the crack. Next I am going to cut the tags off from the spatulas and the dish towels and that is something that drives me crazy you guys and I wonder if that drives anyone else crazy is the tags on the dish towels. Every time you cut them off it leaves holes in the dish towel and sometimes they just keep getting bigger and I don't know about you guys but that is just something that drives me crazy. This is what I'm talking about right here. It leaves three decent sized holes in the dish towel and like I said that just kind of bugs me a little bit that it puts the holes in the dish towel. Okay, so here is option one. Let's try the spatulas in the white crock and see how it looks first. Like I said, I don't know if I wanna go with the happy spring one just because that one has pink on the inside and it might be a little bit too much pink because believe it or not, it can be too much pink at times. So there's how it looks in the white, which I do think that looks really good. And now let's try them in the happy spring. And here is how they look in the Happy Spring. I think that they look really good in both. I'm kind of liking the height that the Happy Spring crock has. I think that maybe this one looks a little bit better. So I think that the Happy Spring is going to be the winner. And then over here, I'm just going to stick my bunny canister. And I think that is going to be it for this spot. A few moments later. All right, guys, I did decide to go with the plain white crock. I just felt like it matched the white bunny right there a little bit better. And I just wanted to keep this area a little bit simple. So that is what I went with. And then I did hang my Easter dish towel down here. I hung one of the bunny ones as well as one of the white ones. So this is how it is looking. And now I just need to do that spot over there and the kitchen will pretty much be done. All of the little birds are outside chirping right now, you guys, and they sound so happy that spring is coming. So here is a little overview of how it is looking. So next we just need to work on decorating right down here. 
And I'm not sure what I'm going to put. Actually, I kind of have an idea. I think I'm going to go with these guys right here, my Tweet Heart one and my Spring Bunny. So I think that those two will look good sitting back there. So let's try those out. All right guys, here is how the canisters look sitting on the counter. I love these guys down here. I feel like they give a nice pop of color. I absolutely love these little canisters so much. And I honestly don't even know which one I like better. I just think that they are both so adorable. So that is how they look sitting down here. I feel like they give a nice pop of color. That's kind of why I wanted to go a little bit neutral in the middle because I feel like down on the other side, I have a pop of color and then it's a little bit neutral in the middle and then some more pops of color down here. As you guys can see, my island is slowly but surely getting cleaned off. So next I wanted to show you guys a couple ideas I am going to be using on my hutch. So first of all, I have this bunny treats canister right here. This is actually a decal from way back in the day when you could hardly ever find any Ray Dunn holiday decor. This is actually a tea canister. So way back when I did a bunny treats decal on here before I could actually find a bunny treats. So what I did for this is I removed the lid and then I put some of the Ray Dunn packing in here. And I'm going to stick some of these carrots right here from the Target dollar spot in the bunny treats canister. And I've already done a dry run of this. That's why I already have the packing in there just to show you guys. So here is how it looks. I just kind of have to play with the carrots and it's kind of hard to do with just one hand, but I thought that these carrots looked really cute in here. Like I said, just a little bit of packing. You can use some paper towel, pretty much anything just to give them a little bit of height. And I am going to put this on my hutch. So there is that, and then I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to do with this mug. This is the matte honey bunny mug. So for this, I just used some paper towel in here, and I'm going to put my bunny measuring spoons in. This is how they look in the honey bunny mug. I think they look really cute just sticking out. Like I said, I just used a little bit of paper towel to give them some height. So this mug and the bunny treats canister are going to be going on my hutch. I did start decorating that quite a bit. I didn't film all of it just because it takes so long to film, but I will show you guys what the hutch looks like when I am finished. I think I'm also going to put my bunny wallflower plug in the kitchen as well. So I think I am going to put him right over there in that plug next to the bunny treats canister. I think it'll look really nice. If you guys remember, I bought this in my shop with me video. I just thought that the little bunny was so cute and I actually don't have an Easter plug in. So decided to grab this one. And then I think I am going to put a fall scent in there. The fall scents are my favorite. So I have this one right here, which is the pumpkin cupcake. I always like to stock up on the fall scents. They are definitely my favorite. So I think I am going to go with this one. I feel like the color of the pumpkin cupcake one also matched really well in the bunny. Some of the other colors I had didn't look as good. So that is another reason I decided to go with that one. Besides the fact that I love my fall scents, I feel like this one matched really good. And there it is. It matches my bunny right there. One thing I will tell you guys, don't ever plug in one of these wallflower plugs under your cabinets. Years ago when we had our old cabinets, I stuck one of the wallflower plugs in the plug directly under the cabinet and it was quite a ways down and it left a huge mark underneath my cabinet so definitely do not plug these in underneath anything I want to show you guys I did grab a couple other things from Bath and Body Works the other day I had some coupons for a couple of the little freebies so I grabbed a couple Easter goodies so first of all I ended up getting one of these little body sprays right here this one is the sweet bunny berry this one smells really good and I love the packaging and then I also ended up grabbing one of the little baby shower gels. Like I said, I had some coupons that they sent me in the mail, so I got these for free. This one is in the scent Sweet Bunny Berry as well. I feel like these little minis would be perfect for Easter baskets. One eternity later. All right guys, one eternity later and my island is almost completely cleared off. I ended up using a bunch of my decor on my hutch. And then a couple of these things are going to go in my living room. I still need to figure out how I want to decorate this Lazy Susan on the island, but I think everything is coming together very nicely. 
So next, I think I am going to move into the living room because like I said, some of this decor is going to go in there. I think I am going to put this bunny right here on my mantle. So this was just plain white and I thought it was kind of boring. So I added a little bit of pink yarn around the bunny's neck and tied a little bow. And then I also gave the bunny a carrot to nibble on. This is just one of the little ones from the Dollar Tree. Just gives it a little bit of color, adds a little bit of pizzazz. And then I think I'm also going to put this egg on the mantle as well with the bunny on it. I feel like this would match this bunny really well. So I think these two are going to go on the mantle. So now let's move into my living room and we will come back and finish the island later. All right guys, next moving on to the living room. So like I said, we did hang up the bunny banner on the fireplace. It's just too hard to do it by myself. So I did have Bill help me do that. I tried many times to do it by myself and it was always a fail. And I just put on Peter Rabbit. I've never watched this movie and I saw it was on demand for free. So I decided to check it out. So next I am going to start decorating the mantle. Bill just came in with the dog. So if you guys hear clickety clackety, they're probably going crazy. They just came in from playing outside. All right guys, here are the pups in their bunny ears. I have given them a couple treats just to kind of make them sit still. That's why they're licking their lips so much. Madison's ears just fell off. They're also very dirty right now because they just came in from playing and it's kind of muddy outside. I really need to give them a bath, but I wanted to give you guys a quick shot of them in their bunny ears Winnie looks so cute look at her just laying there being a good girl good girl Winnie and Madison's here she says give me my treat mom I'm ready to be paid you want your treats they look so cute in the bunny ears you guys I can't believe they left them on this long can you no. they're being really good these are the cutest ears ever like I said these are from Joann's are you guys being good they're patiently waiting for their treat there you go You guys, they look like they're falling asleep. Look at them, babe. Mm -hmm. They're about to pass out. Mm -hmm. They must have played really hard when they were outside for them to be falling asleep in these bunny ears. Do you guys see how they love to cuddle? These two are the best of friends, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They lay together all the time. Yep. It's so cute. A lot of times they'll lay back to back and then their legs are sticking out like each way it's hard to explain but they just have their backs right up against each other they love to cuddle they're best friends I have a bunch of Easter goodies in this tub. I think a lot of this stuff was from the living room. I completely forgot about this bunny pillow right here. I bought this one a few years back at Target and I absolutely love this one. I think this guy is so cute. And then I have some signs in here. Some of my Easter gnomes love these guys. My happy spring egg. I also forgot I had these bunny coasters right here. These are from Pier 1 last year, love these. I think I'm going to put this on my mantle. I feel like this would look really good on there. So I was debating if I wanted to put this carrot patch pillow or this cute one over there on my little trunk. And I'm kind of leaning towards this one right here. I feel like this one would look nice just because the trunk is a little bit dark and I feel like this would brighten it up a little bit. And I kind of think that this one would look better on the couch. So let's try this bunny pillow over on the trunk. This is how it looks. I think this one looks really cute. I don't even think I'm going to try the other one. I feel like I really love this one on there. So I think I'm going to keep this one. Also, here's a closer look at my bunny butt garland. So this one I ordered a couple years back online. I think I bought this one on Amazon. And then I wanted to give it a little bit of color. I felt like it was just a little bit bland. So I added some of my pink speckled eggs. All I did was punch a hole in the back. I did two little holes. And then I used some sort of like, almost like bread ties that always come on the Christmas light and I kind of just twisted it around the rope that holds the garland together. So just decided to do that to give it a little bit of color and brighten it up a little bit. So I've been watching Peter Rabbit for a little while and this movie is so cute, you guys. And I also just realized that it has Rose Byrne in it. I absolutely love her. She is in Bridesmaid. She was in the Insidious movie, Spy. Absolutely love her, so I'm very excited to continue watching this movie. If you guys haven't watched this one, I'm only a little ways in, but I definitely recommend it. It seems very good so far. All right, so moving on to the mantle. First of all, I know that I'm going to be using this Hoppy Easter sign. So I think this is going to be going in the middle. So usually I like to kind of start out in the middle. So I'll put 
this side in the middle and go from there. Next, I am going to put my bunny right here on the mantle and I have to be careful picking this up because the head might fall off. This is actually a cookie jar, but I'm just using it for a decor piece on the mantle. Next, I think that this bunny canister is going to go on the other side of the mantle. Like I said, I feel like this matches that other bunny very well. So I think I'm going to put this on the opposite end of the mantle and see how it looks. Here's how it is looking so far, you guys. Now I think we need to bring a little bit of color. I feel like there is quite a bit of white, so now I need to figure out some things to put on here to add a little bit of color. I'm thinking about using one of my Easter gnomes on the mantle, so I'm probably going to go with the pink one because I'm also thinking about using some of these pink speckled eggs. I wanna use some of them on the mantle as well, and I feel like the pink gnome would match really well. For the eggs, I ended up sticking them in this glass container and I think that they look really nice in here. So hopefully this is going to look good. If this doesn't look good, then I'll probably end up just sticking some eggs on the fireplace, just trying to see if they will stand on the fireplace on their own. But I feel like they might just try to roll off. So hopefully this is going to look good. I think we'll set these right here next to the bunny and see how they look. I think those are looking pretty good. And then I did put my pink gnome down there next to the white egg just to add a little bit of color down there. And now I think I am going to finish this off with some carrots. All right, guys, here is the finished mantle. I think it came out really good. So I did add a couple carrots up there just to give it a little bit more color. I think my favorite is definitely the bunny butt garland. So that is how it is looking. I think it definitely came out very nice. So here's just a little bit of a close up. So down here I have my bunny egg canister and then my pink bunny gnome, cutest little Easter gnome ever. And then I stuck a carrot right here in the middle. I have my hoppy Easter sign. I think I bought this a while ago on Etsy. And then on the other side of the hoppy Easter sign, we have another carrot my jar of pink speckled eggs. I bought these in a set last year from Meyer, and then down here we have our bunny cookie jar. All right guys, next moving on to my coffee table. I think I am going to try to keep this somewhat simple. I don't like too much clutter on the coffee table. So I do know that I am going to put some of these little wooden bunny coasters on here for sure. My mom bought these for me a couple of years ago from Pier One and I love them so much. And then I think I am going to use my little mini egg wreath right here from Target. I think that this will look really cute to use for a candle holder. I'll probably put a Bath and Body Works candle in here and I think that this will be a really cute candle holder. So I know that I'm definitely putting these two things on the coffee table. I'm not sure if I'm going to put anything else. I'm just going to play around with it. And once I get it figured out, I will come back and show you guys what I came up with. All right guys, the coffee table is finished and this is what it looks like. Like I said, I just kept it somewhat simple. So first of all, I have my little Professor Bunny sitting here. This guy is one of my favorites. I bought him quite a few years back from Pier 1 Imports. I miss that store. They used to have some of the cutest holiday decor. I miss going in there and shopping with my mom. So I basically just love everything about him. I love his glasses, his little bow tie, the buttons on his shirt. Like I said, he is one of my favorites. I usually always have a candle on my coffee table, so I added this one from Bath & Body Works, and then I have it sitting on one of these little wood slabs. You can find these pretty much at any craft store. I have a ton of these. And then to top it off and add some color, I just put my mini Easter egg wreath from the Target Dollar Spot around the candle. I thought it just adds a nice pop of color. And then lastly, I have my wooden bunny coasters sitting on this book right here. These are also from Pier 1 Imports. I think my mom bought these for me, not last year, but the year before, and just love these. So thank you, mom. So that is how my coffee table looks all decorated for Easter. And next I'll show you guys my Easter pillows on the couch. All right, guys, here is how my couch looks with my Easter pillows. And as you can see, the puffs are up here. They have been playing with their new little dinosaur toy. They love that toy 
so much and I tried to get them to move for the shot and they did not want to budge. And let me tell you guys, if they do not want to move, they will not move. They are some stubborn little pups. Are you guys playing with your new toy? They're so cute. I'm actually surprised they haven't ripped the carrot off from that dinosaur by now. They've actually been being very gentle with their toys lately. All right guys, moving on to the pillows. So I stuck my locally grown carrot patch pillow down here. I decided to put my sweater pillows back on my couch. I had these on here during winter and I thought they just made it look a little bit cozy with the Easter pillows. So I have my carrot patch pillow right here. Madison is sniffing it. Does it smell good? I think she said yes. Definitely loving this pillow and I am very thankful that Bill went back to the store and surprised me with this pillow. And then over here in the corner behind Winnie's butt, I have my Somebody Loves Me pillow. This is a Ray Dunn pillow. I bought this one last year, I think from Home Goods. And then behind that one, I have this pillow here. This one is from Joann's. I think I bought this one the year before last. It has the bunny ears. This one also has a bunny tail on it. You just can't see it that good because it's hidden behind my Ray Dunn pillow. Love this one so much. And then over here on the other side of the couch, I have my little bunny butt in the truck pillow with all of the carrots. I'm really happy that I decided to buy this pillow. And this one is from Home Goods. All right guys, next moving into my dining room. Here is how my hutch looks all decorated for Easter. I absolutely love the way this came out. I feel like I've said that many times in this video. I just love the way the pink looks against the white hutch. I think it looks very pretty. And as you guys can see, I have a ton of Ray Dunn Easter decor. I honestly didn't realize how much I had from last year and then combined with this year. It is crazy. So I'll just quickly go through and give you guys a little overview of my hutch. Starting out, I have this bunny garland hanging on the top of the hutch. I found this garland at Walmart, and I think this was only three or four dollars. It was very inexpensive, and I just thought that this was very cute. So as you can see, I have all of my Easter mugs up on top. And like I said, I'm not gonna go through each one just because it's basically all Ray Dunn. If something isn't Ray Dunn, I'll let you guys know where it's from. And then I have some of my Easter canisters. My bunny buns, that is one of my favorites. I had some more of these Ray Dunn Easter mugs with the wood lids. Pink jelly beans, this is one of my favorites. These bunnies right here are from Home Goods. And then I have some of these carrots. I think these are also from Home Goods. I feel like I have a ton of jelly beans canisters. This egg matches that big one that I showed you guys in my coffee station. This is from Home Goods. I really like the way this came out with the bunny measuring spoons. And then I have my bunny love bowl, you guys, and I stuck one of the dimpled bunnies in there just to give it a little something extra. I added some carrots to the top of my hop to it cellar. These carrots are from Target. And then this is from, I think, Home Goods or Marshall's. Bill picked that up for me. I have another jelly beans canister. And then down here I have my Peeps one, my Jelly Beans mug, and then I stuck another one of the bunnies from Bath & Body Works on here. And then I also have this candle stand right here. This is from Bath & Body Works a few years ago. I have another one of the dimpled bunnies. And then I have this sign right here. This is from Home Goods. I bought this last year, but I saw this sign out again this year. Some carrots. This bunny right here is from Joann's. And then just to give it a little color, I added some of the pink yarn around the bunny's neck. And then this one did have gold on the ears, but I am not a big fan of gold. So I just used some nail polish remover and took the gold off. I have my bunny treats with the carrots from Target. My pink bunny love. And then this hop to it canister, I just added this little carrot right here. So that is how my hutch looks all decorated for Easter. Like I said, absolutely love it. And then sitting on the table, I added my bowl of Easter eggs, some of the ones that I dyed. All I did for these, these are just the cheap little white eggs and all I did is mix up some food coloring and water and then I just let them sit in there for a little bit just to dye the eggs. And these I've had for a couple of years. I colored these probably two years ago and they still look very nice. And then I just have some of the white eggs mixed in with them. And then this bowl, I believe, is from Target. So that is how my dining room looks all decorated for Easter. 
As you guys can see, my kitchen island is finally cleaned off, which makes me very happy. And I think I did figure out how I wanted to decorate my island. So I'll quickly show you guys that. And then I also hung up an Easter egg wreath over there on the door. I'll also show you guys that in just a second. So on my Lazy Susan, I decided to add one of my big glass cookie jars and I decided to fill it up with some of my fake eggs that I colored as well as some of the white ones. But as you can see, I didn't have quite enough eggs to fill my cookie jar. So I just quickly went ahead and colored some more eggs. I bought a bunch of the white ones last year on clearance after Easter. So I just quickly colored them and I think they should be dry now. I've let them dry for probably at least an hour and a half. So I'll just add the rest of my eggs in the cookie jar. And then I also put this white bunny on here. This is from Target a couple years back. And then I put my egg hunting mug. I thought this was appropriate since I have the eggs sitting back there. My Ray Dunn one. And of course, one of my little bunnies from Bath and Body Works just hanging out there. And then in the front, I have my blue Easter basket here, which is from the Target dollar spot. So that is how that is looking. I am going to add the rest of my eggs and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, here is what the cookie jar looks like all filled up with the eggs. I think they look so pretty in here. I love the pastel colors. And the nice thing about coloring these fake eggs is they last and you can have them every year to decorate with. So I think I told you guys, all I do to color my eggs is use water and food coloring and it is just that simple. So that is what the island looks like all decorated for Easter. I love the way that this came out. And then you guys, Bill also hung up my giant Easter egg wreath that I bought a couple of years ago from Pier 1 on the Range Hood. And I absolutely love the way this looks. I think it looks perfect on here. Here is a close up of my Easter egg wreath. This wreath is ginormous. This thing is nice because it fit perfectly on the range hood. Like I said, I bought this one a couple years back from Pier 1 Imports. I miss being able to go to Pier 1 so much, you guys. And then over here on the door, I hung up this little egg wreath. This one is from Michaels. Here is a close up of the wreath. I absolutely love this wreath. I think that the color of the eggs are so pretty and I also love that the eggs are speckled. I don't know what it is, but I always love the little speckled Easter eggs. I just think that they are adorable. I also wanted to quickly show you guys, I did make one change in my coffee station. So I started editing this video last night and I realized when I had the hop into spring canister next to the Keurig, it looked much better than the love somebody canister because this one is a little bit taller. So I did swap out the love somebody canister for the hop into spring one. I couldn't believe how much better this one looked on camera. It's crazy when you start editing and you realize how much better something looks. All right guys, so here is my completed kitchen all decorated for Easter. I absolutely love the way that it came out. I think my favorite things in here would definitely be my Easter coffee station and my two Easter egg wreaths. Loving them, especially my ginormous one. All right guys, next moving on to the stand behind my couch. I did just go ahead and decorate this. So this is what it looks like. So first of all, I hung this adorable carrot garland on here. I found this garland at Hobby Lobby, and this was actually the last one. I looked at this when they first put their Easter decor out and I didn't end up buying one. And my mom and I were in there the other day and they had one left. So I decided to grab one and I am very happy that I did because you guys know my obsession with carrots and I of course had to have a carrot garland somewhere in my house. Sitting on top of the stand, I have this bunny here that I bought last year from Pier 1. And let me just tell you guys, I am very happy that I was able to get this bunny. So originally I saw him when they first put out their Easter decor last year, but he was quite expensive and I didn't want to pay. I think it was around $80. I thought that was a little too much. So I decided to wait. Well, then quarantine happened and all of the stores were closed. So I was really bummed because I didn't think I was going to be able to get him. But I lucked out because when they finally opened back up, I was able to get him on clearance, I think for 75 or 80% off. And I am so happy because I love this guy so much. Also, by the way, you guys, look how chill Madison looks laying over here. And then the dinosaur bunny is just chilling there next to her. I can't even tell you guys how much I love this bunny. It's funny because I had filmed him when we were in Pier 1 last year looking at the Easter decor and that's when I realized that I needed him. A lot of times I'll watch my videos back and I'll think to myself, why didn't I buy this or that? 
I love that he has this lantern and you can stick a little tea light in here. I think that is so cool. And I love his coat and his bow tie. Next, I have my bowl of fake eggs that I colored. I did have this sitting on my dining room table and I stole it off there. I just thought it looked a little bit better over here. And then I just have a candle burning down here, not Eastery, but that is everything that I have sitting on the stand. So that is everything that I have on the stand. And then I have an Easter egg wreath over here. For the last of my Easter decor, I have this Easter egg wreath that I hung right here in our entryway. I think I bought this one a couple years back from TJ Maxx. And I think this one may have had a bunny attached to it when I bought it. I bought it after Easter on clearance and I just removed the bunny. I just kind of liked it best with just the eggs on it. If you guys can't tell, I love my Easter egg wreaths. I also wanted to quickly show you guys, since I took that bowl of eggs off the table, I wanted to show you guys what I replaced it with. So I ended up putting this bunny right here on the dining room table, as well as one of these slabs of wood. Here is a close up of my bunny. I think I bought this one a couple years back from either TJ Maxx or Home Goods. I think I got this one on clearance. And then I added this pink bow right here just to give a little bit of color. And then I also made a tail for my bunny just out of some cotton balls. I just thought that the bunny looked cute with a white fluffy tail. And then like I said, I just have it sitting on the wood slab. All right, guys, that is going to be it for all of my Easter decor. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you in my next video.